it's the most high friend line when you do this video. Today I'll be talking about a desire to your husband. So first I'm gonna read Genesis 3 and 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow in thy conception, and sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. So key word is desire, which means to have a strong want. Um, so whatever your husband desires in righteousness is what you should desire. Because why wouldn't you want him to have and do the things that he likes? Ever since I was born, I've been trained to serve you. Yes, I know this. But I would like to know about you. What do you like to do? Whatever you like. <laughs> what kind of music do you like? Whatever kind of music you like. I know what I like, and I know you know what I like because you were trained to know what I like, but I would like to know what you like. For instance, do you have a favorite food? Yes. Good! What is your favorite food? Whatever food you like. And that's just an example of what type of mindset wives, wives should be in. Uh, yes, we can like our own things, enjoy our own things. We aren't doormats. We have opinions. But... Our desire is what our husband wants in righteousness. Because if it's what he wants in righteousness, it's not going to be wicked. So we shouldn't doubt his wants, his desires. Titus 2 and 3. The age women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, <laughs> to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of Yahweh be not blasphemed. First Timothy 5 and 13, I will therefore that the, that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to, to the adversary to speak reproach, reproachfully. So this is our duty as women, to be helpmeets, to marry, marry young and have children that's that's why we're here um so with that being said it's the lord and then it's your husband and then children and then everyone else first corinthians 11 and 3 oh have you know that the head of every man is mashiach and the head of, a, of the woman is the man and the head of christ is yahweh so having a desire to your husband isn't slavery as people say it's something you should like to do and if he's a man of the lord you know he's he's leading you in righteousness so there's no reason to doubt i've seen posts all over social media women rather work long hours of work serving serving their managers and the people that are above them with a smile on their face but if your husband is your if sorry if your husband simply asks you to make him something to eat uh, late at night, people have a problem with it. That's backwards. So, um, so treating your husband well, so treat your husband well, do his favorite things, cook his favorite meals, and do things you know y'all will enjoy. And know that treating your husband right isn't conditional or based on how he's treating you treat him well regardless and the lord can see favor in you because we have no authority over our husbands so we can't tell them how to act and what to do that's why it's best to pray to the lord to look for the lord to change his ways but either way you have to do your role as a woman and um, take care of your wifely duties whether or not you're being treated that's why the scripture says to be submissive it doesn't say to be submissive if he's treating you well it doesn't say that and know that the lord is always watching and the lord will take take account on how you treat your husband so don't take a covering or a husband for granted be Sirach 23 and 19 such a man only feared the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun.
beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. So remember, the Lord knows everything. Be mindful of your thoughts. Your thoughts. Be mindful of any attitude you have towards your husband when you don't want to do a certain thing. Be mindful of all that and repent whenever you notice it. Because the Lord is taking account of everything that you're doing and how you're treating your husband. Uh, Lord willing, y'all have a good day. Call like, have a bash, me have a shy, shalom. You don't listen, I don't need them. I don't want no woman who don't help me and don't, don't, don't. When I ask you to do something, I give you something it's to like, do. Up Hold move. up. And it makes sense. You're my wife. You're my wife. You're to please me, not to please everybody in the world. If she don't listen.